stories create authentic problems for children to solve. So rather than the teacher asking a question, it's about the story setting the scene and really giving children a way into an investigation or a problem within the classroom. Stories can relate directly to children's experiences or they can give them an opportunity to experience something out of their context, something that they wouldn't have come across in their day-to-day -day lives. So in that sense, it, it broadens the opportunities for having an inspirational start to a lesson. Well, we use story to set a scene, to create enthusiasm, to arouse their curiosity. Um, telling a story gives them something to lean back on if they haven't ideas of their own. It can spark imagination, uh, hopefully leading them on to an investigation. Okay. So we're going to do our science workshop today. We're going to be reading the BFG. This one's called Dream Catching. The big friendly giant put the suitcase on the ground. He bent down low so that his enormous face was close to Sophie's. I think when you're selecting a story, you've got to think creatively. And any story you can get science from, you just have to think outside of the box. So do you think today in our science, we can do lots and lots of asking questions, lots and lots of talking, lots of thinking. Do you think so? Yeah. So I want you to think about our questions. What colour might your dream be? What might the dream look like? What might happen to the dreams inside the jar? And will the dream sparkle? Turn round, talk to your partner about some of those questions. That's why it'll be sparkling. The waitress sparkles. How about that? Like this. Then he did the dream that was sparkling. Then he put it in the night. We try and use paired talk and group talk as well, just to share ideas. When they're young, they want your attention, they want to tell you. But if they can tell somebody else, then they've had their opportunity. Yes, you might do one, two, three, you know, and share those ideas. But if you turn to their partner and tell them, then they've shared. What could it do? Why don't it do? What would happen if Sophie opened the lid of the jar? I'll tell you what. You can have a go at making a dream. Well, I think on the carpet or your know, sort of class time, you can you can keep it tight. But once you've got to the tables, you want them to free the conversation up. You want them to spark ideas. And that way, they're actually going to learn more. Mm -hmm. Have some pens. What, what reaction? Shake it, shake it. How's it changing? Well, I never met. I never met who read yet. Hold your bottle. I'm going to hold this one and let you see what I mean. And listen, Red Jet. Thomas, I can't hear. What is happening? Can you explain what is happening? What I'm going to ask you to do now is to get, in a moment, your recording sheet, a clipboard, and I want you to have a real big think about what you've done with your dream bottle, what you've put into it, and how it's changing or reacting so i need you to be thinking about what you have done so what color was your bottle when you put your eye in the tablet we need talking for ideas we need talking for sharing 
we generate a lot of what happens through our talk. It's very important to speaking and listening. Our children are learning those skills and if they can learn it when they're younger, they can employ it you know, at a higher level later on. So it's the need to talk, the need to listen, the need to respond. Uh, we use a lot of scaffolding through teacher talk, through children's talk. And if you hear something that a child said, they think, oh yes, that's really good science. You actually use you know, your teacher voice over the top and you're trying to bring that skill across to everybody. Stories can be used in lots of different settings, so science or literacy or even maths. But really what their power is, is it's about capturing children's imagination and engaging them in a lesson. So they're a fantastic way to get children on board and get them to start thinking about potentially science in a slightly different way. Stories can create a need for children to share their ideas, explore different possibilities that they might not have come across before, and they're obviously a perfect way to generate talk between students in the classroom.